Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And we're on episode number four of Biker Talk Q&A. Uh, cheers for all the questions coming in. Um, yeah, thanks for all of that. So we're going to be looking at about 10 minutes for this. Uh, so all good, I'll crack straight on. And uh, yeah, first question is from at Richard, Richard Daly 29 Hi, Richard. Uh, says, hi, Jake. Hope you're well. Yeah, not bad. Thank you. Uh, Thanks for your videos and Q and A's. You're welcome. Uh, I have a question. I have a question. When buying an e-bike, there are so many choices from styles, engine size, configuration, prices, etc. Uh, what made you choose the CCM, and what criteria do you set to decide? And if not the CCM, was there another bike in close consideration? Uh, yeah. Thanks for the question there, Richard. Um, right. So. I've been quite fortunate enough to test ride lots of bikes, um, review lots of bikes, and uh, the CCM, uh, I wasn't able to even ride that. So I don't know if you, you know, if you are, you know, there's loads of, loads of other videos on the channel about sort of the reasons why I bought that bike, why I decided to, to you know, to go for that bike um, over other bikes. Um, but there isn't really many bikes out there which, you know, kind of are in that cat category. Category? Um, so, yeah, that was a, quite a difficult decision, really, that one, and why I did decide to buy the CCM. It's a 600cc single, and it's completely different to any other bike that I've ever I've ever rode. So, yeah, um, I just like the styling of it. Um, there's lots of other bikes out there, yeah, but like I say, not in that category. And um, yeah, so don't really know on, on what I can say to that. I just decided that I'd try it, I'd see if I like it, and then you know, if I didn't like it, you can always sell them on, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, with other bikes, you you know, you have, uh, there's lots of other choice where you can compare different bikes, you know, different um, models of bikes, different styles of bikes. You've got sport bikes, obviously, you've got tourers. You know, it depends what you're into uh, as a whole, really. But yeah, the main reason I bought the, the CCM over other bikes is because, um, yeah, I just decided I like the look of it. I like the style and I liked, I liked how sort of unique they are. And uh, yeah, that's why I decided to go for that. Um, but you're right, there is so many other bikes out there. It's, it's a massive, massive, uh, you know, selection out there. So I hope I've answered your question on that one, Richard. And uh, yeah, thanks for your question. Next question is from at Luke Clark 9164. Great video, Jake. Yep, yeah, cheers, Luke. Nice one. Uh, will we ever see any rider reviews on off-road bikes? Right. That's a good question that that is actually something i've considered looking at and considered doing and um, there's there is random uh or various not random various uh you know rider schools out there if you like and experiences i think yamaha do one down in um i think it's down in wales somewhere so uh, that'd be that'd be interesting to, to maybe jump on something like that i mean with as far as uh, you know taking uh you know uh, test bikes out off-road it's not really the sort of thing i'd want to do really and um, obviously they're, they're not my bike so you know i can't really be <laughs> taking the bike back covered in uh you know scuffs and scratches where i've fallen off potentially you know i've, I've not really done that much off-roading for a lot of years um it is something that I'd, i've done you know in you know when i sort of first got into bikes there's there's you know lots of um off-road bikes i i had and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it fell off them and you know it's all part of it uh, but at the moment, yeah, there's nothing nothing planned at the moment, but it's not to say, you know, there's not in the future. But cheers for that, Luke. Great question. Yeah, I hope, hope I've answered that. Right, next question, at Crumble Mal, uh, at Crumble Mal 8479. Hello, Malcolm. How are you doing? Nice one, Jake. Interesting. So you've ridden around Stetterton Circuit. Have to ask, was it on your 765RS? Uh, and if so, how was it? Well, no, it wasn't actually on my 765RS. It was on, I've done quite a few track days. I uh, had a GSX-R 600L1 uh, back in 2011. So I've done quite a few on that one. And uh, I've done, also done a track day on my uh, GSX-R 1000R, which was um, 68, 2018 plate. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed that. Although it is very scary. And like, I'll carry on to read here, I think, that for me, the idea I might get carried away with myself and chuck my bike down the road would put me off. Well, that's exactly the, the way I was thinking with that. 
um, you know, it, it, it is a big risk. And, you know, when you're talking, I think my, my, my thousand was best part of those 17 grand, you know, for that. So I didn't really want to be throwing it down the, down the track uh, at all. And it is in the back of your mind when you're riding as well. So don't, don't really want to be doing that um, too often. But yeah, so no, no, I answer your question. No, I've never done it on my 765 RS. And admittedly, the Moto 2, the new Moto 2 RS would have been amazing for that. But again, I would have been probably stressing about been in it and yeah yeah that's a completely different uh you know you can get track day insurance as i know but you're still coming off you know your bike and it's not good uh ambition outweighing any talent i don't have yeah okay yeah so if if you could go on track on a track day what would your bike of choice to try if you could choose any one you wanted Ah, these models just look great. Got to look into one myself. Oh, the models, yeah. Right, so if I could take any bike whatsoever, even if it's just a lap or a couple of laps around the track, I think that would have to be, for the experience, would have to be uh, obviously a, 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 a BSV bike or something like that. would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? I'm not saying I've got the skill to ride it, but you know something like that but on certain sort of track uh bsb meets and that you can you can do laps pillion laps and stuff like that but as far as riding goes that's a completely different league i would say doing that um uh, but it would be absolutely amazing to have a go on a you know on a on a, a bsb you know uh machine around that circuit or any circuit uh those models just look I hope I answered your question there, Malcolm. Uh, he also he says, those models just look great. Got to look into one myself. Cheers. Yeah, these, these models here, <clears throat> I mean, they take a lot of patience to, to build. If you've, if you've done them before in the past, you'll know, but they're not like the old Lego. These are the, the, the Lego Technic, these. So, I mean, this, this one here was, you know, I've done that a couple of years ago, that one, but yeah, that was probably about a day to do that. This one was two or three days I think I spent doing that and you know it's it's absolutely an amazing model very good that but they're not they're not cheap you know to buy so well thanks for that Malcolm much appreciated uh, on your question there I hope I've answered it all uh, yeah next question at Joe Mancini 2797 hello Joe how are you doing it says hi Jake great video as always thanks Joe much appreciated for that and your comment I've got a question if possible, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Do you have any other hobbies apart from bikes? Uh, I have got other hobbies. Uh, one of my main sort of other hobbies is uh, Model RC flying, helicopters. Um, hence why I put this here, because I knew this question was here. So this is something that I've recently got back into in the last, in the last sort of, I would say six months and I'm, I'm learning to fly again. Now, it's a very expensive uh, hobby, it can be, obviously if you crash and that sort of thing. So I'm just sort of going easy with it at the, at the moment. But the technology, I've got a, obviously the, the radio uh, transmitter here. And, uh, you know, the way things have come on now with this sort of thing, I'm not going to bore you with it because, you know, you might not be interested. But, um, yeah, the technology, you, you, you can you can watch YouTube on this screen on here. This is, this is you know, basically like a... Uh, you know, uh, uh, Android operating system on on the controller there. So things have come a long way. So I'm learning that again. So uh, yeah, you know, thanks for thanks for that question, Joe. Um, as far as the models go, this model here, uh, yeah, like I say, they're not cheap. You're probably looking, I would say, six hundred pounds. I have to go. I've got to whisper that six six hundred pounds just for that model on its own, you know, and, and, you know, you have the risk of crashing and yeah, but yeah, well, there you have that. So thanks for, thanks for that, Joe. Really do appreciate, really do appreciate your questions there. And I hope I've answered them all. So just a little, uh, you know, little video there, 10 minute long of, um, yeah, if you, so if you have got any questions or anything, you know, you want to answer, you want me to answer anything at all, um, within reason, of course, <laughs> Um, yeah, so I like to like to get these in as and when I can. Um, but yeah, 
If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. Be great to have you along. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the questions again. Take care, see you soon, and hopefully see you on the next video. See ya.